Hello guys, I hope you are doing really really well. Today I have with me the new Samsung Galaxy Tab S8 Plus and in this video I will show you top 10 tips and tricks for this tablet. So guys, the first is related to adjusting your display at 120Hz refresh rate. So what you have to do, you have to go into settings, okay. So once you enter into your settings, on your left side, you will see an option of display, okay. So you can see here display option, just select it and once you select it on your right side, you will see an option of motion smoothness, okay. So I just select it. Once you select it, here you have two options, standard uh, which is 60 hertz, okay. And then we have the high which is 120 hertz uh, screen refresh rate. So guys, 120 hertz screen refresh rate gives you more smoother experience, okay. So so if you want to save your battery so you can set it to the standard which is 60 hertz but if you want more uh, smoother experience okay so you can go for 120 hertz screen refresh rate okay the next tip is related to the color adjustment so for color adjustment you have to go into the settings okay once you enter into the setting again you have to go into the display and in the display you have the option of screen mode so i will just select the screen mode here you have two options vivid and natural so if you want saturated contrasty colors you can go for vivid but if you want more natural look and you want to uh, for, uh, for photo editing for video editing you can go for natural colors okay so this is how you can set the color adjustment the next tip is related to navigation bar so guys you can see over here we have buttons over here okay so if you want so you can see so if you want the full screen experience if you want if you don't want this home button the recent button the back button uh, you can have the full screen experience all you have to do is you have to go into the settings once you enter into the settings go into the uh, display okay and in the display you have the option of navigation bar so you can see just select it and once you select it you have the option of buttons and swipe gestures so for example i select the swipe gestures okay so you can see the buttons <coughs> are gone okay there are no more buttons and we only have like this one bar below okay so all you have to do is just take this up okay to use different option like uh, recent uh, to go back for the home so if you want to know settings about this uh, navigation bar just go into the uh, navigation bar option okay from here navigation bar and then you can see it is showing you the uh, options of uh, um, show button to hide keyboard block gesture with s pen we have the more options as well so you can see you have the option of this one uh, like this uh, in the three form okay swipe from bottom okay so if you select this swipe from bottom it will uh, make it in the three bar so you can see over here one two three if you want just one okay so it will show only one okay and then you can uh, change the gesture sensitivity you can make it high okay so you can see this is very high this is amazing so this is how you can uh, set the uh, gestures okay so but i like the button so i will go for the buttons okay so the next option is the next tip is related to touch sensitivity so guys whenever you are using a screen protector for example now i'm using my tempered glass okay so uh, i have to enable a option in which it will increase its touch sensitivity so i will go to settings okay then again display and then in the display you have the option of touch sensitivity so you can see over here touch sensitivity option so it increase the touch sensitivity of the screen for use with the screen protector so always uh, enable it always turn it on so you will have the better uh, touch experience when you have tempered glass 
on your tablet so for example i have tempered glass on my tablet so i enable this option guys you can change the colors of icon uh, you have to just go to the home screen touch and hold anywhere on the screen like this okay and then you have the option of wallpaper and style okay so just select it and once you select it you have the option of color palette over here so you can see this is the color palette option just select it and once you select it you have different options over here so for example you can select this color okay like that okay like this blue color okay so basically this will change the icon colors okay it will change the quick toggles color dialer and other system icon so you can see over here so you can see there are different colors options so for example i select uh, this one and then i apply so it will be uh, like this okay uh, the next tip is related to the samsung dex uh, it gives you a desktop experience just open your quick toggle okay so from top and then you have the option of samsung dex okay so i will show you so you can see this is the dex option just select it and once you select it it will open the samsung uh, dex for you okay so you can see over here it gives you the complete uh, desktop experience okay so you can see over here and uh, you have all your apps over here you have the like a taskbar uh, option over here so here uh, what i will do i open uh, different apps and i will show you uh, the important thing so for example i open this app i can resize it okay same like a window uh, then i open gallery okay so you can see i open multiple apps okay I open my files okay and uh, i also resize it okay like this okay and then for example uh, i want to open google from here okay so i select google okay so you can see this is the google and then you have more uh, apps option over here for example i open the calculator okay so you can see so so basically this gives you a multitasking experience you can open uh, multi uh, apps you can do the multitasking uh, in uh, this dex mode you can resize it you can adjust all of them okay like this okay and then you can work on them okay so for example i want to make it bigger i can put it like this okay like that and then this one okay so i can resize them according to my need so this is really really amazing the next tip is related to video stabilization option so guys in uh, the camera in this tablet it is giving you the video stabilization option which is really amazing so i turn on the camera okay so i go for the video option from here okay if i uh, if you go here in the settings option i go to settings and here uh, if you scroll down you will uh, see an option of video stabilization you can see over here so you can turn this on okay so it is giving you the video stabilization option uh, really amazing uh, the next thing is it is also giving you option of pro uh, video mode so you have the 4k video mode and uh, with 30 frame per second which is really really amazing okay the next tip is related to the font size and style so you can change the font size according to your need so you have to go to the settings then again uh, go to display okay and then go to font size and style okay so for is if you select this one so here you see uh, it is giving you the font style which is default now so you can select the samsung one okay or you have the uh, this gothic bold okay so whichever font you like you can select and then we have the option of font size okay so for example i want to make it this size okay so you can see it is bold now okay so you can use this option if you like then we have the uh, bold font option you can make it bold okay so you can see it is quite bigger okay this font size is quite bigger okay you can easily see all of your apps so it's up to you whichever size you want the next tip is related to keep screen on while viewing so for example if you are viewing this screen and uh, you don't want to uh, turn off your tablet you don't want your screen to be turned off you can enable this setting just go to uh, settings okay then go to advanced features okay so from advanced features just select 
motions and gestures okay just select this option and here you have this option of keep screen on while viewing so you can see you can keep the screen on while you are looking at it using the front camera to protect your face so if it is disabled you can enable it so this is the last setting uh, so guys this is for today's video i hope you like the video i hope you enjoy the video so please do subscribe to my channel guys thank you very much